Module 7, Section 1. Define Key Terminology. Review the terms listed in the Terminology section. Spell the listed terms accurately, pronounce the term correctly, and use the term in their proper context. Section 2. Units of measurement used in the household and metric system for weight, height, and volume. International weights and measurements. Metric. Weight. Gram and kilogram. Length. Millimeter. Centimeter. Meter. Volume. Milliliter and liter. U.S. customary weight and measurements. Weight. Ounce and pound. Length. Inches, feet, yard, mile. Volume. Fluid ounce, pint, quart, gallon, teaspoon, tablespoon. Section 3. Equipment commonly used by the nurse assistant for measuring weight, length, and volume. Volume measuring equipment. Graduated cylinders, metric and household. Marked with lines and numbers usually marked in ounces and millimeters, measuring cups and spoons, serving containers. A. Length measuring equipment. Yardstick. Tape measure. Standing scale with measuring rod, which is marked in fractions of inches and feet, also could be marked in centimeters. B. Weight measuring equipment. Scales. Marked in ounces, pounds, grams, or kilograms. Can be electronic or digital. Types of scales. Standing. Scale for patient resident who can stand unassisted and not hold on to the scale. Patient or resident must be steady on feet. Wheelchair. Used for patient or resident who cannot stand unassisted. Weigh the unoccupied wheelchair. Then weigh the patient and resident in the wheelchair and subtract wheelchair weight from total weight. Mechanical lift. Cloth sling to hold patient or resident and a hydraulic lift to raise and lower. Weigh the sling in any linen first, then subtract. Bed scale. Used for patient or resident who is on bed rest or unable to be in the chair or ambulate. Weigh any linens first, then subtract linens from the total weight. Patient or resident's body must not be touching the mattress. Chair used for patient or resident who cannot stand unassisted. Section 4. Convert common measurements between household and the metric systems. A. Weight. 1 kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. B. Length. 1 inch equals 2.5 centimeters. C. Volume. 1 ounce equals 30 milliliters. 1 cup equals 240 milliliters or 8 ounces. 1 pint equals 500 milliliters. 1 quart equals 1,000 milliliters or 1 liter. 1 teaspoon equals 5 milliliters. And 1 tablespoon equals 15 milliliters. Section 5. Measure and record weight length, and volume using metric and household systems. Procedure for measuring weight on a standing scale. Prior to beginning procedure, make sure the scale is balanced at zero. Place paper towel on platform. Help patient or resident to step onto the center of the scale. Read the scale when in balance to the nearest quarter pound or tenth of a kilogram. Help the patient or resident off the scale. Clean and return the equipment. Record measurement using correct abbreviation for unit of measurement. Procedure for measuring length. Length is also measured as height. A measuring tape can be used for a patient or resident who is stopped, contracted, or in bed. Measure all segments. Add all measurements together to find total height. Measuring a patient or resident's height using an upright scale. Assist the patient or resident to remove their slippers. Raise the height rod on the upright scale. Assist the patient or resident to stand on the scale platform, arms at sides. Have the patient or resident turn around and face away from the scale. Lower the height measurement rod until it rests on the patient or resident's head. Record the height. 
Reading is made at the movable point of the ruler. Assist patient or resident off the platform and put slippers back on. Record measurement using correct abbreviation for a unit of measurement. General guidelines when measuring volume, length, and weight. Always use safety precautions for patient or resident and self. Be familiar with how to use measuring equipment before the patient or resident is involved. Make sure equipment is functioning correctly. Wash hands before, after, and as needed when doing any procedure. Wear gloves when handling bodily fluids. And dispose of the fluids correctly. Balance scale before assisting the patient or resident onto the scale. Have the patient or resident urinate before weighing. It is best to weigh patient or resident at the same time of day, using the same scale and with the same linen or similar clothing. Know if the patient or resident is to be weighed, with, or without shoes. Have at least one additional person helping when using mechanical lifts. Clean equipment and return it to the appropriate location. Record findings on the appropriate forms. Report any changes in finding to the appropriate person. Be aware of how the patient or resident tolerates the procedure. Procedure for measuring volume. Pour liquid into graduate container. Place container on flat surface. Read at eye level. Use measurement at lowest level of liquid surface. Record measurement using correct abbreviation for unit of measurement. Section 6, Military Time Conversion. Convert between standard time and military time, the 24-hour clock. Systems of telling time. The standard system uses AM, which means the morning, midnight to noon, and PM, evening, noon to midnight. Military uses a 24-hour clock, four digits, no colons. Do not use AM or PM. Start one minute after midnight, 0001, and ends at midnight 24 hours later, or 2400 hours. Noon is 1200 hours. Look at corresponding chart for time conversions.